Okay, so today we're working on a video for a client. This is a fitness video. They have a um, event every year around October called Battle at the Beach. So they do a bunch of weightlifting and um, you know, deadlifts, bench press, and there's awards and stuff. And I've made stuff for them the past um, few years now. All right. So we're going to go ahead and start with some B-roll, kind of like the last one. Um, and kind of figure this out what kind of style we want the intro to be. So, for these two, I'll add this, double click, and I'll take off the animation, and I'll probably change this middle thing to black instead of white. So there's that. Click the next one. Change this. The window's pop, you know, showing up out. Okay, so change that. And then take off the animation for both. Make this second one. Okay. So I'm thinking about having something like this. Um. This shot depends. So, if I use, where is it at? Um, I'm tracker 3D right here, 
and I analyze this clip, I might be able to track a title on it. Okay, so if I copy track and then I go to M Tracker 3D. I usually like to do drop zones instead of the text for some reason. I mean, I, I feel like there's more, it's easier to control the drop zone at least instead of the text. Because you can, let's say you have an effect on the text itself you can make it into a compound clip and then just apply it to the drop zone instead of having to deal with the text itself on the plugin. So for instance, so now we're gonna make a title. It says battle at the beach. Battle at the beach. So, do something like that. Battle at the Beach. Now I can take off the shadow for this because this isn't technically in front. It's part of the environment itself. Let me actually just do battle. So battle at a beach. Battle. battle at the beach. Just like that. And then close the line spacing. All right. So now, we extend this over the whole thing. I could paste the track here. Um, apply that. I don't know what that's tracked to, but whoa. Look, I ain't about to tell you twice. We on different levels, and you better get the balance. Come on. That's pretty cool. So, and then I can also change the rotation as well to something like. Yeah, I ain't about to tell you twice. We on different levels, and you better get the balance right. We not eye to eye, we are not alike. You couldn't even be me in another life. Don't hit me on my phone, yeah, I'll get back when I'm posted. They want to blackmail. So impressive. So I wonder if there's something else that I could apply it to. <laughs> So 
So now, if you want to speed up the whole thing, because obviously you can't change the speed on adjustment layers like this, is you turn the whole thing into a compound clip, like so, and then you Speed it up right here. To about right here. I ain't about to tell you twice. We on different levels. Right now I'm adjusting the speed transition. We on different levels and you I ain't about to tell you twice. We on different levels and you I ain't about to tell you twice. We on different levels and you better get the Speed that up a little bit more. I ain't about to tell you twice. We on different levels, and you better get you twice. We on different levels. Tell you twice. We on different levels, and you better. So if you double click on the little thing right here, you can actually change the area of where the you know the cut. For the speed is like so, and then if you just want to get rid of it, double click again. So there's this effect that I've seen around where it shows a part of the image cut out first and then it cuts to the whole video. And so I'm pretty sure that's the effect I'm gonna go for throughout this, uh, this version for this year. For instance, so we're going to do preparation first. Okay, so I got this locked in and I'm going to stop here for now and come back to work on it again and uh, yeah, have some progress on it. I am back working on the video again and I got some new ideas for how to start to um, begin. So, let's get straight into it.
Yo, if I can get some clouds. Let me find some clouds. Okay. Looks like.
<sighs> okay. Okay, we're about halfway through pretty much. So, I think I'm going to stop here for a second and I'll come back uh, when I start working on it again. Alright, here we go. Back at it again to work on some more. Finish up these. Okay, all loaded in. Let's get started.
All right. I think the whole timeline is put together now. Now I just got to go back through, add sound effects, and any extra like motion blur to certain areas and stuff like that. And then color grading. And then that should be everything. All right, now last step should be color grading, and then we're looking at a finished project. Okay. Let's see how do I want to do this. So I use color finale for my grades, my color grades. But and I also use adjustment layers as well. One for the base grade, so correcting the colors and shadows and stuff like that, and then the look is, you know, like it says the look giving it the look of how you want it and the colors and stuff. Um, okay. Definitely the time consuming part. Uh, but after this, then add the look, and it should be good.
Okay, so now all I gotta do is the look grade, and then we're looking at a full project. I'm gonna go turn this light on. Good. up here oh. okay <clears throat> so I turned this down so that the blacks the saturation of the blacks are low same thing with the highlights Just a little bit more. mess with it a little bit more as far as like the color grading and stuff goes but I think I think that's the whole project here let me that's the whole thing so let me go ahead and send it to let me go ahead and send it to the client and then whenever I get it back, I'll jump back on here and then play the whole video. All right. So it has officially been approved. So all this right here is finally complete. He pretty much just had couple changes which was to add a few specific clips that he wanted uh, but besides that it's pretty much that was pretty much it and so finally you guys get to see the full and finished approved project so enjoy
God.